Now, this is easy. Very, very, very easy. All right? So, super easy. Y'all done saw me do, use this a lot in the past. Um, use the Explorer app to transfer files to your Zadoo. Very, very easy. Um, this is what I use a lot when I'm doing uh, um, applications. Now, I'm going to show you how to do the same thing using the Explorer app. All right? Let me do this right quick. And again, I'm going to use this Explorer app. Let me make this larger. I already have the Zadoo. Uh, not the Zadoo. I already have the Explorer app on to my Zadoo device. This is it right here. Very, very easy to do. Um, again, once you see this, you should have an understanding on how to use the Explorer app. The Zadoo does not come with the Google Play Store. But I'm telling you, you get this app toy right here. You get the app toy application onto your Zadoo. You can always, guys, let me do this right quick. You can always, and listen, when I'm using these devices, again, I always have a keyboard. Get you a keyboard with a touchpad, but you can always get the Explorer app. All right? You can always get this bad boy and use it, and here it is right here. All right? It's anytime you got green, that's a trusted source. And you can download this bad boy onto your device. It's as simple as that. But that's for another video. I just wanted to show you that. All right. And if you want me to do another live show on how to get the Explorer, use App Toy or Google Play, all of that, um, I do have a video. But let's do this. Let's go home. All right. So I can do this. Let's go down to the Explorer app. I'm assuming you got the Explorer app on your device. So now when I open up the Explorer app, I should get something like this. All right. Usually all of this will be closed. I ain't used this in so long. Right. I ain't used it in so long. But let me do this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close out all of this. Because when you open it up, yours is going to be looking just like this. Now, again, this is my internal. This is what does a dude device come with, 32 gigs of internal storage. I don't use the 32 gigabytes of internal storage for my movie server. It's not enough. You're going to run out very, very quick. All right? So I have two drives that are hooked up to my device this is the zoo 1000 again this is my flash drive as you see right here that says mavens media network and this one right here this is my internal internal drive that i physically had to get and insert it into the drive the open drive that's on this device right here all right so again the blue is in your flash drive this unknown that's the internal i didn't give it a name because i know exactly what it is all right now in order to transfer say you want to transfer some things over i suggest that you just go over to the right hand side and you need to go down here to this option right here that's called wi-fi file sharing Wi-Fi file sharing 
All right, so I'm going to do that again, just in case people ain't catch on. Maybe I was moving too fast. When you first open up the Explorer app, it will look something similar to this. Whatever drive you have connected, it will look just like this. Again, internal drive. This is my flash drive. And this is my physical internal six terabyte drive that is in that I inserted inside of the drive of the Zadu 1000 Pro. All right, from there, I go over here, go to the right hand side, and I go down to where it says Wi Fi sharing, file sharing, Wi Fi file sharing. Click that, and then I go down one. You see, it says server disable all i do is go over here to this red i mean this this white dot on the right hand side and i click it once and you're gonna see the green light turn on all right you see it and then it gives you a url all right it gives you a url which is a beautiful thing all right a beautiful thing with that url this is all i'm gonna tell you to do let me do this. Take that URL. I didn't mean to do that. Stop. 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 Hold up, y'all. There we go. Take that URL that says HTTP colon four slash four slash one nine two dot one six eight. Whatever you have, take that. All right. Let me do it like this. Take that, take that URL, and then you want to go over here to your drive, I mean to your computer, all right? That same number that you get, mine is HTTP colon forward slash forward slash one, I mean, yeah, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.1.6. One was that dot nineteen colon one 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 one. Once you put it in, you can click on it and you should get something just like this. All right. If everything is good, you will get something like this. But now let me remind you. You see it says right here up at the top, it says internal. You can close. We are not going to use the internal unless it's something simple. If it's something simple, then I understand you using the internal. All right. You can put it in a download folder. And in this case, I probably would use it. Let me see this. Let me do this. Uh, let me do this. Let me move this over right quick. And I'm going to take. Uh, I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to close this out. And again, I got two things connected. See, I don't even need this flash drive anymore. But some of y'all may have two or three on here. What I'm looking for is this unknown. Because that is what? My media server for my movies and TV shows. So I'm going to open this one up. And I'm going to just add a movie to it. I'm going to add this movie called Twisted. No, you know what? I'm going to add The Last Voyage of the Demeter 2023. So I'm going to go up in here and I'm looking for movies. It go my movies category. Let's open it up. And then I'm going to just go to movies. All right. I can just go into the movies and see it right here. Now, I'm going to take all I'm going to do because the Zadu does such a great job with categorizing the media or the movies and TV shows. I don't have to create separate folders. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just take this movie and I'm going to just drag it and drop it. And down here at the bottom, you know what? No, no, no. Uh, I'm going to stop that one. Cause that's the 4K one. And I'm not about to sit through that. Let's do this one. I'm going to do a 1080 is 1 1.4. And once you do it at the bottom, 
you will see a little this little uploading down here that's letting you know the status how long is it going to take all right once you're done with that guys we can go back over here i'm gonna just drop this down but we're done with this let's go back over here because we did everything we were supposed to do i can close this down i can go back over here to home theater 4.0 and guess what? I can play the waiting game. It's scanning the source because it knows that something just came through. And you see it's doing it. It's scanning. And one thing about this to do, it will let you know right at the top. All right, we're searching for something. Something is on here. Something just landed on this drive. And let it do a thing. Like I said, it could take 30 seconds to a minute. And then it'll pop in. All right. We just see it. There you go. It's right there. This is how easy it is to use this device and to use some applications. It's very, 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 very simple. Simple. It's the easiest way you can do it. Now, let me tell you this. All right. I got to present this. Cause we ran into this um this weekend. And salute, salute to my guy. It's up to your PC as well. If you have firewall, some antivirus software, it could be blocking all of this, allowing you to do these different navigations, sending data here and there. That's one thing I cannot control. I cannot control your computer. So you got to make sure your computer is up to par. Your computer can't, and I ran into this like three weeks ago. Your computer cannot be 15 years old and you expecting everything to be just snappy. I ran into one of my, in my consultation, salute to her, salute to her because I love her, but she had an older computer trying to do all of this new technology. That's going to be kind of tough.